Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the production of the cylinder block and cylinder head. So let's get into this video. Cylinder block is an element which consists of all the parts which encloses all the engine parts inside it. It is a core of the engine which houses nearly all the components of the engine to function properly. The block is typically arranged in a V shape, inline or horizontally opposed configuration and number of cylinders range from 3 to 16. This is the cylinder block which is made by casting process and encloses all the components. Functional requirements are it should last for a long time and housing internal moving parts and fluids it must be ease of service and maintenance and to withstand high pressure created by the combustion process and then material properties it should have high strength modulus of elasticity abrasion resistance and corrosion resistance low density thermal expansion thermal conductivity, good machinability and castability of the metal alloy and good vibration damping during the working. Manufacturing of the cylinder block is based on the two ways such as green sand molding and lost foam casting. So let's we discuss green sand molding. Green sand molding is a basic method and it is the oldest method of producing the cylinder block. In the green sand molding, the silica sand, silica, sand, clay and water are mixed together to form a mixture of a sand particle and it is placed on the mold and packed with the ram and also another box is also created like the same procedure and core are placed at the required position and runner riser gate are cut in that and then the two boxes are closed one above another and the molten metal is poured on the pouring basin so that the molten metal enters the sprue and flows it on the runner and it fills the cavity that we have prepared so that the part was obtained. The term green denotes the presence of the moisture in the molding sand. The green sand molding is still widely used in industry as material costs are very low and most of the metals can be cast by this metal sorry method so the disadvantages of the green sand molding are once we prepared a one mold it is used only for a particular product that is a single product only it cannot be reused the working time or the preparing time of the mold is also a tedious process while the designing the positioning of the core runner riser gate etc casting in last form casting the polystyrene beads are melted and poured into the mold which was prepared by designing to the required dimensions the pattern is made and the second process is the cluster assembly. Each pattern are combined to form a cluster and provided with a pouring basin and a sprue so that the molten metal is filled in this gateway. And then the coating is to be provided to the cluster assembly to withstand the strength and then the sand is filled and compacted to provide enough strength and then 
the molten metal is poured into this cluster assembly and settle for a long time to solidify and then shake out process that is the assembly is taken away in this process it is called last form casting because the polystyrene beads gets melted and uh, dissolved or entered into the sand particles once we pour the molten metal so the in this method it becomes a pa- more popular due to its capability to produce near net shape components that is we can produce parts which is appropriate in shape so that we can machine to get the appropriate or the exact shape it can provide tight tolerance for critical components and reduce machine maintenance and cost so this is a short video friends about the production of the cylinder block so if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching